Hello and welcome to another Beehive 101. In this video, I'm going to be introducing Beehive AI. Beehive is the first newsletter platform to roll out its own suite of AI tools to help newsletter operators optimize and streamline their content creation. With this release and our AI features built directly into Beehive's text editor, the best editor in email just got even more powerful. Now, as we get started, there are four tools that are built into the editor. Our AI writing assistant, our AI text tools, our AI image tools, and our AI translator. Now, before I get started into how to use each one, the AI writing assistant is a generative AI tool that creates content based on a user's desired output along with other parameters passed along, such as length and tone. You'll type in a prompt and the output will be the text that is generated. The next one is you can take existing writing and use the power of generative AI to change the tone of voice, autocorrect, autocomplete, lengthen, shorten, simplify, and more. Third, we have our AI image tools. You can use generative AI to create beautiful images with nothing but a prompt and without ever leaving the Beehive editor. Lastly, if you want to seamlessly translate your content into multiple languages, we provide that support. You ha simply highlight the text and select the language that you want to translate into. With that introduction, let's jump into things. If I go to Beehive, and I click on the write option and then click on posts. I navigate to a new post or I create a new post. From my editor, I can forward slash and we'll see there's a couple new widgets here. One would be our AI writer. And so we'll get started here. We simply give it a prompt. Tell me a fairy tale. And from here, we can set the settings. Text options are going to be things like the number of paragraphs. You can say the number of words, number of characters, We'll just do paragraphs and do two paragraphs. We'll ask it to generate a heading. And then for language, we're going to choose English. For tone of voice, let's choose a creative tone. And from there, we hit generate text. So this is going to take a few seconds. It's going to take this prompt with the settings that we provided, and it's going to give us our feedback. So we can insert that. Now we have some content. It looks like a, a typical story. The next feature we can take a look at is within the text itself, we can actually modify it. So if I go here, I can highlight specific text. Let's just say, let's highlight this last paragraph. And let's say, let's improve the writing. We want to extend it. For example, we can do all of these things, shorten, extend, simplify, or change the tone of voice. That's how you can basically take existing text that you've written. It doesn't have to be generated initially. You can take original text and use these augmentations to improve the writing. The next thing you can do is to translate. This is the translation feature. You'll access that from this screen here. If I wanted to translate this passage into Portuguese, I can click that. And in just a moment, it will be translated into Portuguese. I'm going to undo that and we'll go through the last couple here. If we want to fix spelling and grammar, we just click that and it'll do the spell checking. The last one we're going to do is complete sentence. If I click this and then hit complete sentence, there we go. It had that ending of the sentence to provide context and then is able to complete your sentence. And so maybe in the context of not a fairy tale, this makes a whole lot more sense, but it's a pretty fun feature if you're trying to figure out how to end a sentence or end a story. The second feature we're going to take a look at is the AI image generator. So in here, we're going to create a image, let's see, a magical forest with a mischievous fairy named Luna. The fairy has vibrant purple wings. All right, and we can check here. We have some items here. So let's do Neon Punk. You can play with it here. The same kind of rules or similar rules that if you've used uh, other Dolly for generating images apply here in terms of prompt engineering. So this is a, a pretty simple prompt. It's a little, take, gets the image here, gets the idea. But if you apply best practice prompt engineering practices, your results are going to reflect that. So this was a very basic example, but we can insert that here and we're good to go. So we can move this wherever we want. We can put it above. So now we look at preview and we now have a story with an image generated completely by AI as we've been sitting here. And there we have it. Those are some really exciting new features with Beehive. You can clearly, I think, see the value that these represent. And so we're really excited to see how you take advantage of these tools. We look forward to seeing what you build. Have a great day.